Hello and welcome to Freya's Tropical Garden. In this video I'm going to take you on a tour of the Staunton Glass House. This is located within Staunton Farm in Havant in Hampshire. Therefore it also makes a great day out if you've got kids. However it's also the location of the largest glass house on the south coast of England. Located within the walled garden which is spectacular during the summer, the Staunton Glass House dates back to the Victorian times. The plants inside are not labelled, so I've done my best to try and give you as many plant identifications as possible. However, if I have made any mistakes, then I apologise for that. The head gardener at Staunton, Chris Bailey, has offered to take me round the glass house to provide some more information on its history and the plants within it. So if you'd like to know more, subscribe to this channel and I will do a more in-depth video later. One of the star attractions for the Staunton glass house is the giant Amazon water lily. Now this is grown every year from seed and grown as an annual so it wasn't here at the time of my visit. You can see here in the centre of the pond where it would normally be. So if this is a plant that would be a particular interest for you to see I would definitely recommend you waiting till summer before you visit. The seeds for it were sown on the 26th of March and it takes 12 weeks for it to grow from a pea-sized seed to a lily pad that's two to three metres in diameter. In fact, Victoria Amazonica was first grown in Staunton in 1853 and the lily house was purpose-built for this plant. Its flowers only last two to three days, so you'll be very lucky if you time your visit right. The planting inside the glass house is absolutely spectacular. And the fact that the plants aren't labelled just adds to the feeling that you're walking through some Jurassic jungle. In fact, my five-year-old was expecting a dinosaur to jump out at any moment. In addition to the glass house and the walled garden, Staunton does boast a spectacular wooded area with a wonderful collection of trees and rhododendrons and also a hedged maze. If you haven't already seen my previous videos, you may be interested to check out my visit to Kew Gardens, where I show the Palm House and the Temperate House, and my visit to the National Botanic Gardens of Wales, with its very modern looking glass house. And I will still be visiting more glass houses in England, so please make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click the little bell icon to make sure that you're getting notifications so you don't miss these videos in the future. I've put a link to the past videos in the description for this for a quick access. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and on my website. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed the content.